Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 64 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will see how to host ASP.NET Core as a Windows service in .NET 6. In our previous videos, we already covered a few concepts around ASP.NET Core app hosting models. All these previous videos are related. So requesting you to please watch them before proceeding with this one. I will share the link in the description. So, how to host our .NET 6 application as a Windows service? Let's go to the Visual Studio. And this is the project which we are working with. Let's go to the definition of Create Builder. And here you can see it has multiple overloaded methods. Let's use the one which accepts web application options. Let's go to the definition of web application options. And you can see this class contains only a few properties. We will use arguments and content root path in this demo because I'm following the Microsoft documentation, that's why. Let's get back to the program.cs class and let's type where options is equal to new web application options, curly braces and semicolon. Next, ARGS, uh, A in capital is equal to small ARGS. So this is self-explanatory. We are assigning arguments which we are receiving as a parameter and assigning it to the web application options arguments because going forward, we have to use this object. Next, content root path is equal to Windows service helpers. Windows service helpers. And this is present under microsoft.extensions.hosting.windows services. Let's add this namespace. Dot is Windows service. Here we are checking if the application is running as a Windows service or via some other mechanism like IIS. So if it is true, then question mark app context. App context is present under system namespace. If you haven't added system namespace, let's add that as well. Then base directory, else let it be a default. Simple, nothing complicated. Next, instead of arguments, pass this option object to create builder. So till now, we just set the content root path for Windows. Next, we need to tell our host that we want to use our application as a Windows service. So, builder.host.use Windows service. Use Windows service is present under Microsoft.extensions.hosting. Let's add that namespace. That's it. We already registered the service as an admin in our previous video. And our ASP.NET Core underscore URLs environment variable is already set to localhost 500. Let's confirm that. Let's go to service as an admin. And you can see this service is pointing to our published code. Let's stop this service and publish our code. Side by side, let's go to the environment variable tab. And you can see the port is set to 500. We already covered different ways to set ASP.NET Core App URLs. You can watch that if you want to set a static, uh, static URLs. Let's go to the Visual Studio, publish also completed. Let's start our Windows service as well. Let's browse to 500 port. And you can see the application is working as expected. Let's quickly open the task manager and visit the details section. Search for pro concepts and end this task. Let's try to refresh the browser. 
and you can see now our application is not able to recover itself like when we host our application within IS. Let's see how to fix that. Let's go to Windows Service, go to Properties, click on Recovery. Within the first failure, set restart the service. Same with second failure. With subsequent failures, leave take no action. We don't want to overburden our system in case of wrong check-in. I mean, if we just check in wrong code and it's just trying to restart every time. Reset fail count after one day and restart the service after one minute. You can set it to zero as well if you want immediate recovery. Click OK and restart the application. Browse localhost 500. The application is working as expected. Go to Task Manager and kill this Windows service process. Browse via browser and you can see the application is not working because we set the recovery to one minute. It will again restart after one minute. So let's wait for 60 seconds. Now again browse. And you can see working as expected. So we successfully hosted our .NET 6 app as a Windows service. So that's it from this video. Hope you like our content. If you have any queries related to the content of this video, do ask me in the comments. Till then, thanks for watching.